Yeah. How many you going to remember about this game like 20 years from now? Is there a moment or two or something small? Yeah, so, last play. Yeah. That last touchdown. And, uh, grabbing my parents, my, my brother, my sister, and, and pulling them onto the field from the stands and celebrating with them. Yeah, did you have a good view of the play when JT scrambled for the uh, first down and reviewed the spot? Did I have a good view of it? Did you have a view of it? Yeah. Um, just, just on the, the video board. Oh, just on the, you didn't see it? Do you, so do you realize in the moment when you're a part of something historic, like you understand the idea, can you understand it yet that this is a game 20 years, 50 years from now people will talk about? Yeah, Coach Meyer said in the locker room that this game is going down in history of Ohio State, so it kind of hit me then. And it's just... Uh, it's crazy trying to soak it all in right now. And um, I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else than my teammates and coaches and my family. Is this week weird, like from an emotional standpoint? Because I was watching the video, you didn't see your tackle, and you were the last to come out of the time of the day. And then you have like, this big game. Like, is that weird? Like, wow. Very emotional. It was an emotional roller coaster this week from senior tackle to Thanksgiving to uh, I got to speak at the pep rally today. And walking out on senior day is the last one. It's an emotional roller coaster, and then I celebrate with my family. Um, that's my motivation. My family, with them on the field, I literally physically grabbed them, and they jumped over the fence, and I pulled them down, and that was just amazing. And uh, like I said earlier, my grandpa was here. He hasn't been to a game in a while. And to come to this game, um, senior day against Team Up North, so he got to see that, and I got to talk to him a little bit. And, it was just uh, very, very exciting. Very Pat, exciting. you have so many great players. Like Orlando Pace beat Michigan once in his whole career. Is it surreal to think that you have five pairs of both hands? Very well, yes. Um, I couldn't do it without my teammates, coaches. It's, um, that's, a great, that's a truly incredible. How much do you do with your pants? My mom and my sister have them. Okay, so like my Yeah, sister. yeah. Can you give us your parents and your brothers your name? Uh, sure Lisa Elfline, Lisa, Lisa, my mom, uh, Heather, yep. my sister, Elfline, and Matt, Elfline, uh, uh, Rich, Rich Elfline. All conventional spellers? Yes. <laughs> when you guys have a lot of games where you just dominate people in the 40, this game felt like Michigan was playing better than you guys for stretches of the game, but you won the game. That like compared to the games you win 45 to 3? Um, it was different. You gotta keep swinging either way. If you're up or if you're down, you have to you know, keep playing every play very hard like it's, like it's a tie ball game. And it just happens so that every single play of this game mattered. And the way our guys stepped up and kept swinging was. Incredible. It's it's a more more pressure feeling when it's close in the game from the line, but they make you step up and, and, and make plays.